So today guys I'm going to be installing the screen protector from Velo for my new Nikon D850. So I got this a while back on the 14th of February and I haven't done much with it because I've got, gotten other accessories I needed and I was wa waiting for this protective cover. As you know when you get these cameras you get this film type material so I wanted to protect that before I actually started using So out of the box it's got these sealed uh, tabs on there so let's pull them off. And it looks like I can lift it. There we go. Pull that off there. So it comes with cleaning tape. Good, good. So it's got that. And then it's got, uh, this must be the cover in here. I must say they've got this uh, shipped really nice. I mean, the way they've got everything segregated, uh, the cover from these components. Now you got to pull this out, and then you have your other items in here. So you'll get this thing, whatever that is, we'll find out here when I look at the directions. Looks like a cleaning cloth, some type of a applicator. And of course your all important manual. Now it does state, make sure you're in an environment that minimizes dust particles for a clean application. So, that's why I'm not doing this out in my garage. I find this to be interesting. The Velo Screen Protector Ultra is designed for long-term use to protect your camera's LCD from scratches, dust, and smears. This screen protector is made of Japanese optical glass, which won't affect the LCD's image quality and adheres to the screen without leaving behind any residue. Alright, step one, remove any films or substances from your camera's LCD, which is what I did earlier when I took off the original uh, film cover. You know, I decided to put some wax paper down so that as I'm picking up the products from this kit, uh, I'll set them right on the wax paper to make sure there's no transfer of possibly anything. So. That's just something I'm opting to doing. Next, clean the LCD with the wet wipe and then wipe dry with the microfiber cleaning cloth. So this is your wet, wet wipe. Tore that.
and again that's why I haven't used this camera much this thing is pretty much pristine from the factory I left that tape on it just like that and then that's why I said I wanted to set this down on the wax paper just so in case I needed to use it again I haven't put it on anything where there might be uh, even though I wiped off this counter I just wanted to, to do that for an extra step now we're going to wipe clean with the microfiber cloth and as you can see it's pretty small almost feels like a silk I wish it was a little bigger I will say I wish it was bigger so that you could get it in your hands better pretty much it was dry seemed immediately but I'm gonna go over it like this like I said it's so it's so small that uh, what they give you it'd be nice if it was larger it's it's pretty hard you know and I don't have huge hands but it's pretty hard to, to use this like I said it's it's dry well I'm not gonna it, like I said this is very very small but anyways all right so that looks good it was dry the next step is peel off the backing from the cleaning tape and use it to blot away any remaining dust from the LCD and as you can see here you can pull that back There's, they give you two pieces they you pull that back pull it off and then blot that so I'm going to do that part off camera, uh, but that's what the next step is. All right, since this, like I said, since this thing is so new and just pulled that off, there really wasn't anything on there, so I probably could have eliminated that step. All right, so next we are ready to apply the screen protector. And they have it carefully inside this like foam envelope so I decided to put the camera on a towel small towel because when I set this down uh, flat for me to put the protector on or if I have to I want to make sure it's on a nice soft surface instead of on this hard you know instead of laying the camera body down on a hard surface especially if I've got to move it around I'm gonna move it around on this towel so you see they have a tab on there with A and then with B and let's just take a look at how thin this is having never used uh, a screen protector before I wasn't sure what to expect so it says peel off tape A from the screen protector do not get any fingerprints on this side of the screen protector align the screen protector with your camera's LCD press down on the center of the screen protector and push outwards to apply and as you can see that's peeling away okay and now this is why you see why I put this camera down like this so that I can move it around Press down on the center of the screen protector and push outwards to apply. Now I'm seeing, not sure why that's like that. And then just use this applicator here to push down.
so there we go and not too bad and what I did is I aligned the long edge here um, the, the long side I just put it up towards here on an angle got it and then looked at each side and just pushed it down okay that's not too bad Yeah, this is pretty cool. The last digital camera that I have from Nikon is a D70S. And it had a smaller screen and a, and a cover that would go over it, and I would just leave the cover on it. Uh, you know, I'd take it off, and then if I'm using it on a tripod, and most of the time I, I never, it was a different kind of thing. You didn't have all this settings and stuff, and so I pretty much just left the cover on. And But this camera here is a whole lot different. I would highly recommend getting a screen protector. I actually did buy two of them. So, because I didn't know how these hold up, and I figured, well, let me have another one just in case I need it. So, I'm, so this looks good. Probably pushing on it more than I need to, but... the hell right okay I'm gonna call that good and last but not least peel off tape B from the screen protector so that's pretty cool just like that and there's our screen protector on there now that wasn't bad at all I was kind of worried about how it would go on yeah, that's pretty badass. I like that. And it's so thin. Again, never having used this before, I didn't know what to expect. I like it. Let's turn the camera on. Nice. And look at that that profile it literally that glass quite literally is flush with this outside surface and I'm sure that they designed the cameras that way so it's not like when you run your hand across there you're gonna really feel it or that it sticks up so and guys most importantly this screen protector by Velo gets a 100% satisfaction guarantee from none other than the moose. Say hello, moose. She's not saying a thing this morning. <laughs>